to be detached from the world in the sense that Buddhists and Taoists and Hindus will often talk about detachment does not mean to be non-participative. You can have a sexual life very rich and very full and yet all the time be detached. By that I don't mean that you just go through it mechanically and have your thoughts elsewhere. I mean a complete participation, but still detached. And the difference of the two attitudes is this. On the one hand, there is a way of being so anxious about physical pleasure, so afraid that you won't make it, that you grab it too hard. that you, you just have to have that thing. And if you do that, you destroy it completely. And therefore, after every attempt to get it, you feel disappointed. You feel empty, you feel something was lost. And therefore, you want it again. You have to keep repeating, 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 because you never really got there. And it's this that is the hang-up. This is what is meant by attachment to this world in an evil sense. But on the other hand, pleasure in its fullness cannot be experienced when one is grasping it. I knew a little girl to whom someone gave a bunny rabbit. She was so delighted with a bunny rabbit and so afraid of losing it that taking it home in the car, she squeezed it to death with love. And lots of parents do that to their children. And lots of spouses do it to each other. They hold on too hard. And so take the life out of this transient, beautifully fragile thing that life is. To have it, to have life, and to have its pleasure, you must at the same time let go of it. And then, you can feel perfectly free to have that pleasure in the most gutsy, rollicking, earthy, lip-licking way. One's whole being taken over by a kind of undulative, convulsive uh, ripple, which is like the very pulse of life itself. This can happen only if you let go. Don't worry. You don't know enough to worry. That's God's truth. Who do you think you are that you should worry for crying out loud? Uh, I mean, it's a total waste of time. Worry is praying to the devil. That's great. Worry is betting against yourself. You know, Weepo Yang, the a great Chinese Taoist who wrote many, many commentaries on the I Ching. He was asked at the end of his life what was his conclusion of a life of studying the I Ching. And he said, worry is preposterous. That was it. <laughs>